Good morning and welcome from, from uh, outside of Genie. Today is the 30th of June and we're raising a Deval. First race off at 12.30. Uh, before we start discussing the race card for today, um, I just want to mention that um, we do have a subscription um, available. Today will be the last uh, day that I'll be posting my selections on the groups, on the different WhatsApp groups. Um, from tomorrow, I will only be able to post those selections to my um, subscription members. So that is the, um, you know, where we give you the value bids, big sixes, best bit of the day, trifectas, our race by race selection, and all of that, you know, uh, that we supply you with a betting sheet of all that information. It's 500 rand a month. And be sure that you sign up for that so that you can get your, um, your daily selections from outside the genie. And, uh, you know, 500 rand is not a lot of money. Um, some of you uh, play much bigger than that. It's less than 20 rand, rand a day. And we, we have two meetings on a day. I don't charge you extra for that. I still do the two meetings. So um, we will still be posting our video, but uh, our selections will not be available on the groups anymore. Okay, also make sure to click this um, on subscribe and ring the bell so that you can get um, the notifications of uh, when we post our video every morning. So let's kick off on the first race. It's at 1200 meters. It's a work rate ride, riders um, um, maiden plate. And here, yeah, my first selection is a, a first timer. I know I'm putting my my um, copper my head on a block, but um, if you look at this breeding captain of all quest for gold, this quest for gold is um, really she's uh, really has produced some some good um, offspring, and in my eyes, this horse is well bred, a two year old, and the jockey has he wins often for um, Sean Terry, so I'm confident that um, hopefully uh, this will kick off. The day for us, the horse is currently, let's look at the betting quickly. So we have got to have a look at the betting. Let's have a look at the betting quickly. Um, yeah, it's not going to be quickly. We wait till, okay, there we go. Just scroll up to race one. Race one, the betting is three to one, number two. Cell connection, number two. 11 to 2 Frozen Palace, another first timer. Number 3 into, into the Mystic, 6 to 1. Number 10 Cora, it's uh, 13 to 2. Quattro pass, pass 8 to 1, 12 to 1, and better the field. So let's go back and then also want to have a look at number number 3. Number 3 is um, into, into the, to the Mystic. Uh, the sole reason why I'm going for this horse, this horse has run some fair races, but you know it's not, you know it's not finishing. It's got paced, but it doesn't run on on at the end. Um, it's had uh, two runs over 1,200 meters. Didn't show much. Fourth, and uh, and another fourth. So, but the main thing here is this jockey Matsueli. The other day I also tipped him because of the horse. Uh, it wasn't with the horse. It was about a jockey, and then he actually won the race. So that's why I'm going for number three because of the jockey. This jockey used to be in the academy before. And then we can also look at number 11. And number 11 is um, another first timer. Man of property. Um, sorry, it's not number 11, it's number one. Sorry, I'm, I'm looking at race two, number 11. Race one, number one, sorry, race one, number one. I apologize for that. Um, that's Quattro Pasi. Yeah, Quattro Pasi uh, showed the nice, uh, uh, the nice race last time. And uh, Sam Ushia is also a very experienced jockey. Um, yeah, so this horse has run against some decent forces. He ran behind Putin's Promise. Peter Promise, I think, has won another race. Yeah, he ran behind Aquan. And from that, there's already three winners. So definitely a horse that can be will be involved in the finish. And yes, your favorite number three, Royal Escapade, also have a chance as jockey has won a few races. Um, last time after is it's now its third, it's now its second run after the break. Um, he ran behind the only man, showed out run um, over the twelve hundred meters with apprentice up getting minus four. So definitely in with with, with a shout. 
Then we move on to race number two. And race number two here, my first election is number two. Um, make sure I'm not right. race number three. Race number two is uh, Irish Jet. Irish Jet um, Ferraris for, for Michael Azzi. Michael Azzi had a nice winner over the weekend as well, and I did tip that as well. Um, this horse didn't show him a lot, but it did run some two, it's run good one. It's one of those horses, it runs one good race, one bad race, one good race, one bad race. So last time out on the 4th of June, made late progress. I hope we're not going to have an, a bad race today again. Ferraris on board. Um, and I like also the horses breeding, nicely bred. It did cost 200,000 Rand as a yearling. And I'm sure there's always looking to improve. My other selection here is number three, Samoa. Samoa has been running a few places and here and there. Um, I look at it, race behind Astel, 23.5. First, fastest 400 to finish. If this horse can repeat that run, it will surely be involved in, in the finish. Um, yeah, so this is a horse that, you know, you can't leave out. It's, uh, I think one, one day this horse is going to come up and actually win a race. Then we move on to uh, number 11. Number 11 is um, Mary Wood. Um, I don't know. I just like the, the look of this horse. Um, it showed fair form, eight lengths and six lengths. Um, and I think maybe after a rest, it can it can improve. So the only horse that you must include in your selections. In another horse that I want to look at, it's also from the Dory Sam stable, same owner, same trainer. But now here they've got uh, Pierce Tradum on board. And uh, definitely, I think maybe he's had a choice. But as, if you look at this, these two horses ran in the same race. The one ran seventh, the one ran eighth, this one ran two, this number 11 ran two links behind number number 10. And uh, number 10 ran, um, also Dew Gillenden ran in the future. So this two horses is closely linked, to, uh, closely, close to each other. I just like, I don't know, for some other reason, I like the number 11 more than the 10. But a number 10 also was that you need to include in your um, in your play. Here we've got Michael Azzi, a nice uh, Porto Palace by Avami. Might also be involved. Have a look at it. It's a lot of first-timers in this race. So there's with no confidence that I tip anything here. Because, you know, with the first-timers, anything can, can, can happen. But that is my selections for race two. We now move to race three. Race three, where my selection to win is number 11. And number 11 is... Mother of the world. Now, if you have a look at race three, let's look at the betting quickly. Um, I didn't look at the betting for race two, so let's quickly look here. For race two, the betting was St. Joseph Lally's Golden Years, uh, 28 to 10, Apple Drop 6, Vesa 6, Dora Model 10, Irish Jet 12. So that was my fancy. 12 to 1, Samoa 16 to 1, Marywood 16 to 1. So you can see if you go for those horses and they come into the quartet, the quartet you swear are going to stand in a pay of queue laughing. So let's look at race number three, where the betting is number two, Zodiac Prince. After two, Birdwatch of 33 to 10, 6 to 1 last year, winning Queen 7 to 1, Diva 10 to 1, Mother of the World 10 to 1, and 16 to 1 and upwards, the rest. Now let's we can look at. Um, You'll see here, yeah, it is a maiden, but very importantly, this is a maiden handicap. So that means the maidens, not like in a normal maiden plate, they all carry the same weight. Okay, and the class is class E, is now the class E of a merit, uh, average merit rating of 62. So here I like, um, and it's also one of my value bets, number 11, um, mother of the world. It's a wily hall. It's a 1,500 meters. Now, last time, it's getting it's getting 56 minus 2.5, okay? And over the 1,600, it did show pace, and it only faded. But before that, the horse ran reasonably well, and he was the dead leader belts. And I think, um, I don't know if you remember this colors, but this colors used to belong to Golden Loom, the Brosies. They are the owners. They used to own Golden Bloom, and they now have Paul Peter. Now, um, I do think that um, there's definitely scope for improvement for this horse today, um, carrying only 50, 53 and a half against the top 60. It's definitely going to make a, a difference. Currently, 16 to 1, definitely a horse that you can play each way. And look at, let's look at some other selections. Um, 
Number four um, is Debar, again, sons in grey dynasty, out of a pentace at every meal, nicely bred, cost 550,000 as a yearling. You know, so uh, oh, it's ready to run, raise, uh, okay. This horse is um, not showing much, um, but it might be that, you know, he's coming to hand slowly, and uh, I think it might improve. It ran against number five last year. Three links difference there, but um, I'm sure if you were on board, this horse is going to improve. Uh, but don't leave out the stable companion in your in your calculations. And then another horse that you need to look at is number six, super fine. Duke of Marmalade Philly. Uh, yeah, there is a thing that says that uh, Duke of Marmalade Philly is better than a Duke of Mar Marmalade Colts. Dean Swart, this horse has shown some promise earlier, rides, uh, ran some nice races, and then, but uh, but they had a very long race, 22 and 222 days. But uh, maybe the horse will run fresh and be involved in the finish. Yeah, let's quickly look at other horses in this field. Um, also, Number one, Birdwatcher, I think, will, will also be improving, has run a few nice races. Um, Lorena on top, drawn 13, not to be discarded, but carrying top weight. And then number two, Zodak and Spreys, um came back as now a third run after the, um, after the, the, the lockdown rest, enforced rest. Um, and then before that, from October. So, um, yeah, it's showing a nice pace. Definitely also to include, not to leave out of your calculations. We now move on to race number number four. Sorry, race number four. Let's look at the betting here. Race number four. Your betting is um, as such. Eleven Jungle Book seven to two. Fast Draw nine to two. Well, the Whips five to one. Bravo one five to one. Open Spirit 5 to 1, Rampage 12 to 1, Deuce Game 16 to 1, El Romance 60 to 1, Titus, Title, Tittles Bullet 20 to 1, and, and more the field. Yeah, also a very open field. I must say today's card is not going to be easy. It's a lot of uh, horses and a lot of horses that got chances. Um, I like the look of number one, Tittles Bullet Bullet. This is another. Um, uh, made in handicap. Now, I reckon the computer form says you are better over further, further, but yeah, I know that this speech of uh, Cornet likes his horse a lot. He has said so before. Now, if you quickly want to look, look here, over the 2000, you ran five leagues behind Imperial Ruby, and here and here, and then here in a few, small future, he ran 11 lengths behind the, uh, Imperial Ruby. Imperial Ruby won a future on, on, on Saturday. And it's run beyond Bellagio, King, Fierce Fighter. And I just know, I, I just got a feeling that this horse might run fresh today. And uh, he can actually then um, come up on a 20 to 1, a nice each way bet to have on this horse. Um, yeah, then let's look at some other horses. Number number 8. Uh, number 8 is a Torben Spirit. Uh, the Larkers, the ex Woodruff horse. Um, last time out, they ran a nice race. Over top line, um, 23.6, 400 to finish, and uh, as well staying on, definitely in with a chance. And then uh, number nine, Rampage, Muzi Yeni riding for Chris Erasmus. Chris also is running a few places already, um, and uh, this horse has shown improvement before the rest, so hopefully it can carry on. It's nicely bred, the captain of all by, by a black bananas, me, so nicely bred and looking to improve. Also, another speech inmate you need to have a look at is number seven, Fast Draw. Always there with a John Spears trade on. The other day, he wrote four winners. So definitely another horse to, to, to leave out. He did show pace behind Doc Gliotti, but then just faded at the end. Um, Bravo 1, let's look at Bravo 1. Bravo 1 also lost, um, you know, came back as also a third run. Fifth behind Dogliati, just finishing behind number seven, and then uh, fast draw, and then last time ran second challenged. So also an open race, um, and I can give you more. Well, of the West, two and a half behind Bella Rosa, uh, Samurai Jack Ewardson riding for Paul Matchett. He's not often that he rides for them, 
So obviously they expect also a good run from this. All in all, a very open race. Anything can happen. We then move on to race number five. Race number five, it's also a, it's a, a fill is a made 83 dividend handicap. Let's look at the betting quickly. Race number five, Dark Song, three to one, nine to two, seven to one, Color of Light, eight to one, Lady Lexington, Mind Reader, 17 to two, Way of the World, 17 to two, 10 to one, and 14 to one, and up was the others. 12 Oaks, number one is a scratching. So let's look at number five. Yeah, I want to point you to number six way of the world. Now, I just want to go back here. If you have a look here, you'll see that the class D average maintenance rating 70. Now, if you look at way of the world, he's currently a merit rating 72. Getting 55 and a half. But this horse used to be an 88. So it's come down from an 88 merit rating to 72. Um, you know, so there's quite a, 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 you know, going down, he's going down a lot. But if you look here, where he run on, on average merit ratings, remember this is now a D70, he's run B, class B races 89, 2.6 lengths behind Rock and Russia. Um, Queen Supreme, you should recognize that. Five lengths behind Queen Supreme. Yeah, he was still uh, 80. He ran um, behind Impressive Duchess, six lengths, and he no more. Now today he's running in a, in a lower class. It, um, you know, and then um, he just did rest. I'm sure that this was carrying 55 to a, and a half today will be a factor in this race. I mean, look, they got a green light. We all know got the green light is a is a great one winner. So a, a multiple grey uh, winner. Now you see you're not the slouch either. So definitely um, a horse that you cannot leave out. And for me, this is the, the horse that uh, I think uh, will win this race. Then let's have a look at some other horses. Number five, Mind Reader. Only had three runs. Last time I'm not doing badly, but I was an average rating 79. It's now in a D70 coming down in class. Although it's carrying a little bit more weight, it says here slow, lost, um, um, lost one link. But maybe if we can jump on terms, uh, look there, he ran on nicely behind Little Rain. Although the 400 to finish wasn't the fast time, but there he ran in a 23.9, which is not bad. Uh, here he ran eight fastest, and it was 22 to nine. I don't know if that is fine, but I mean, since he's, he was slow, he, he did finish over a 22.9. So definitely a pointer um, in this race. And then um, my other selection I want to discuss with you is number nine, Lady Lexington. Um, sorry, we're now in race five. No, it's not, it's not number nine, it's number 10. Color of Light. Color of Light, it's 803 days since his last race, but he's also be coming down in the mirror rating all the time, all the time. He's ran against um, you know, some fair races, Lady of Steel, Flaming Dussies. You know, he's always there and there and bounce. And with Hewitson, I mean, this jockey always a factor. So definitely a horse that I think will be involved in the finish. Yeah, there are other horses in the, in the range of chances. Um, you know, so Dark Sun, the favorite, but he just won a maiden. And I'm not a very big fan of a horse that just won a, a maiden. And it's not like before the maiden, he was like a... You know, putting the world on fire. I mean, he had some average races. So definitely not a horse that I'll be putting my house on. Although I like the, the breeding, and I've seen before, I think this King's Barnes is going to be an, an, a nice stallion. And the mare is by Western Winter. So uh, all in all, a nice breeding. And uh, they might prove me wrong. Um, 12, oh, yeah, this is one I mentioned. This was, I remember you guys remember, but it's not often that you see 100 to 1 winner. It won very well, but now it's been off since November. So in, this could be anything. Uh, if you have money, just put it in your pick six or, or in the back end of your quartets, just for in case uh, this horse keeps on improving. Now let's move to the next race. Is the sixth race. And that is a Philly Zemir 81 divided handicap. 
Class C, merit rating 72. Let's look at the betting first. Uh, here we've got a strong favorite, number one, Anne Broylan. 12 to 10, 7 to 1, up close and personal. Madam Patrice, 8 to 1, 10 to 1, Maltese. Rance at 10 to 1, Persisca, 14 to 1. Yellow Trumpet, 11 to 1. Image Award, 20 to 1, and more. So let us look here. Um, here, just remember, we are working here on a class C, 72. So I want to take you down to this horse. Um, Sorry about that. Number six, Image Award. Now, if you look at Image Award, Image Award was also uh, 86. He ran five leagues behind Operetta, double eight. Was Stereo Walk, Fly Away, Alzara, all of me. And then um, last time he ran in a D division, he ran 4.25. Uh, behind towards the sun but today he's getting 57 minus two and a half he's only carrying 55 and a half and i'm sure that this was he's definitely going to be involved in the finish maybe the race has done him well uh, it's over a year since he last won a race so another cherry runner which i would be really for of this deacon, this deacon is not a bad jockey then um let's look at some other horses number two um Madame Patrice, you know, uh, you know, Madame Patrice is one of those horses. She never knows when to run a bad race. Came back after a rest and and hold on to to for the dead heat. And then um, also want to look at number number four, another Terry horse up close and personal. It's Lionel Lyle on board, drawn two, also won and, and then after the race came back, ran behind Madame Patrice and Anamza but sure would be, be fitter now. But this, let's look at a favorite. Number one, Anne Boylan. I can find nothing wrong with him. Last time out, she ran against uh, Stronger. And he's also behind Rock and Russia. Um, no extra late. Um, so, it's and, and again, yeah, it's a Duke of Marmalade Philly. Definitely in with a chance. I don't say the horse can't win. Please, there she was two and a half links behind Layla of Steel. That also was also a very good run. Um, but I'm always looking for value, so I'm looking for the, the horse that I think can, can beat her. If I thought she was a very good bet, I would have told you, listen, that's it, put down the house. But I can tell you, I'm not so sure that this is a 12 to 1, a 12 to 10 shot, but I might be proving wrong. I have been proved wrong in the past, but I've also been proved correct in the past. Yeah, and that is in um, race 6. Um, so I just want to mention here, just want to mention this number seven movie show. Uh, it's with the Berta Stable. He used to come from Kimberley and he's shown one or two nice runs. And even last time out, it only faded at, at the end. So something to put in your back end of your quartets. There's Rasna. Rasna could also be anything she's um, dead eated with Madame Patrice. So just have a look out for that one as well. Uh, give me the green light. Yes, he can, he, Elena, he, he just produces nice runners. Um, now let's move on to the next race, which is the seventh race. Okay, let's look at the betting. Race seven. Here we had an important scratching, which was number six for us to steal. steal. So now we are uh, favored as number 16, number five, 16 to 10, Gaily Prince, Lady of Liberty. Unbeaten on this course and distance, Shea Bella, the Fifth Avenue operator, 10 to 1, 14 to 1, Alzara, Sigurd Dream, 14 to 1, and 28 to 1, League of Her Own. So let's quickly look at this race. Um, yeah, um, my, uh, I, 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 I originally went with number six, but since he scratched, I had to change it. So now I'm putting my, uh, you know, on Lady of Liberty, getting 54, minus one and a half. There you go, course three runs, three, three, three wins. Course and distance, two runs, two wins. Um, so definitely, uh, you know, she suited to this course. Um, and one of the other courses I like is number eight, the fifth, fifth wave. Has also run some decent races. Yes, she ran behind Lady of Liberty second. And then um, after the break, she came back in a higher division and she ran 4.2 behind 
is when Jesus lost, has got to have it, this jumping bad. That day when they when she won uh, against Yellow Trumpet, I actually tipped her to win that day. She was like nine to one and she won, just got up on the post to win. So let's carry on and we have to look at in, um, you know, number five is now the stable change. It used to be with Cornet's piece, but it's now since been transferred to the Dawson stable. The arena's writing uh, Larry Nefstead is the new owner. Gavin has won of her before. Definitely, she has got a chance. They've been running well against stronger opposition. I mean, um, we got, um, yeah, we got the two Peter horses carrying 64 minus two and a half and Operetta carrying 64 minus four. So that leaves her on 60. This Operetta is one of those horses. If she decides to run, nothing can run with her. She is, she's beat spirit. She's beaten spirit of the groove. That's not a, a, a slouch. There's your Ramya and Sarah, which is not a slouch either, true to life. So if you can have a look here and see where she runs, 100, 102, 103, 107, 110, 110. And then you look here and you see that um, the class is A95. So she's way down in class, but that is why she's carrying this, this weight. But I think the four kilogram can make a difference. Uh, definitely not the horse to leave out of your calculations. Um, I don't know what happened here behind Celtic Sea. Because this is number one, has also got a uh, Shea Bella has also got a chance, but I do think that the weight might just catch up with her. But definitely in with a chance. Um, I'm not sure what happened here last time, but since the distance is shorter, that can be uh, you know know the same distance, 1200 meter, maybe the wrong the the run would bring her on. But um, yeah, I'm not so sure about that. I mean, we got this horse for a secret dream. You know, she's over longer distances, but maybe if she's fresh, she might, uh, you know, put up a, a effort and, uh, you know, uh, you know, they're going to, she's going to might go to the front and make them work to catch her. So look out for that one. Put her in your quartets. And then a lot of horse I just want to mention it quickly. Um, League of Your Own, I think League of Your Own is not a bad horse. Um, she's run well over shorter distances. But then the owner started putting her over longer distances and uh, she didn't really show. Now he's bringing her over again. Um, I remember that day I tipped her when she won against an uh, impressive Duchess. So Deacon riding minus two and a half. Maybe drop her that horse in the back end of your quartets if you want to. Then we go to race number eight. It's a, it's a betting world, bet, merit rated 96. Let's quickly look at the betting here. And the betting is number one, Benji, five to two, Precious Stone, five to two, Symphonico, nine to two, Ispa, nine to two, Battle Creek, 12 to one, Big Blue Mall, four to one, Top Mars, 16 to one, and Il de Varita, Varita, 25 to one. Number four, Old Man Theme is uh, scratched. So here I wanna, um, I was watching the form and then my eye caught this. My eye caught this, the Vol, Progress B, 19 ability, 1,200 meters, and she beat Eden Rock. Now, Eden Rock came, he's uh, a, is a, is a grade one winner, yeah, and he came back um, the other day um, after the lockdown, and he won a nice race at Scottsville again. Um, so if you have a look, you know, this horse is always dead and dead about, and I think this horse is definitely capable of delivering a nice surprise in this race, top mast. Dory Sham, you mustn't, under, uh, 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 you know, she's is a good trainer, class B, 91. And uh, yeah, I uh, I like the, the, the look of both her horses in this race. They're hard knockers, they've been there around, running around, you know, against good horses. Uh, they, they run 91 behind State, State Trooper. Was beaten before by, by Benji, but I think can turn, can turn the table around. So definitely a horse that I will not leave out of my pick six. And then Battle Greek is always also there and thereabouts, running well, always involved in the finish. And then also, like we'll look at number three, Symphonico is also a nice horse, also running, you know, always trying your best. There's you run against Basari Faith, a 008, you know, up in class. And then she won Kimberly in Kimberley. Uh, yeah, one of those last horses to win in Kimberley. 
then came back um, behind Battle of Trafalgar. And then last time out in the lower divisions, he won by prelims against 12 Oaks. Definitely a horse not to exclude. And then um, let's look at Benji. Benji is carrying 64 and a half. I'm sure that this is, you know, for a horse to carry this weight, is it's going to be hard, really. Um, but, yeah, I mean, she deserved to carry that. If you look at self see Life is Group, Chief of J State, Smoke, Mythical Board, Mighty Eye, all of that. And look at that, 110, 94, 86, 90. But they say weight stops a train, and I'm a big believer of that. I've seen many horses in, in racing that just couldn't carry that weight. To show the 64 and a half, and you're looking what other horses is carrying down here, Top Mars, 58 and a half, Eastbound, Blue, Big Blue Marvel, 54, Precious don't get it, getting 54. This is also one of the um, favorites, number nine. Um, you know, this also ran fair races. Last time out, um, at the Vol, you know, got beaten by Galactic Warrior, tried hard. Um, but that was before the break, so we don't know how fit this horse is. But I mean, uh, Sean Terry is a professional, he never sends his horses if they're not fit to the racing. Then it's moved move to the last race, where my best bet for the day is number 12. Jim Cutter. I'm not going to say a lot about this race. It's also an open race, but the way this horse won last time, um, over a thousand meter of the fall, 3.25 drew off, never extended. I'm sure that that she can repeat it. It's also another few, another thousand meters. Um, she was down in class from 83.75 to a 69. So let us look where we are now um, in terms of class. Um, <coughs> It's a C78, so a little bit up in class, but um, still carrying a low weight. Um, the other horses to look at here is number seven, Holy Man. I don't know, I just like the look of this horse. This horse won well, and then last time out, he wasn't disgraced. Um, you know, I ran 10 innings behind a bold ransom, but look at that in a 82. Okay, now, so a little bit down in class, and uh, yeah, this number seven might just surprise again. Let's look at number nine. Pearl of Siberia. Please do not leave out this horse. This horse has also run some good ra races. Some that's now running down in class. Uh, five rings behind Symphonico. Ace to riding, Sace to riding, minus two and a half. It's only carrying 56. Um, I reckon this horse will definitely be a contender. Yes, number 10, my Waima. Um, didn't show much last time. Um, but yeah, with straight on board, always a factor. So the fireball, this is another Enigma horse. That's 40 runs, five wins, six seconds, five. Now it's always dead and dead about. You never know when it's going to pop up uh, on you. So yeah, last time out after race, didn't do well behind the rotation, but now back over a little bit shorter. So um, all in all, I think a difficult card um, to, to play. Um, and uh, yeah, I, I, I'm sure... If you can catch something here, you can make good money today. Um, just a reminder, click the subscribe, click the button, and then also make sure that you get your subscription because the, the, today is the last day of free selections. I thank you for listening and have a nice, uh, a nice day break a leg.